Hey guys, Eric Gonzalez here with Aperture 35, AP35 now. So I have a couple of toys that I have at hand with me that I would like to share with you guys, especially if you guys want continuous power and you want something on the go. Most of the time, everything that you guys see on the market is for you guys to be either plugged in or to use your own battery or perhaps use something very, uh, or extremely expensive for that matter. So today I have something a little bit different. It will only run you somewhere around $150, but it will be to totally worth it. So here's the thing that I have. I have a power bank here. And I have the tether tools, case relay, the on-site relay camera power system. That's what it's called. So this device here, plus this power bank, and this dummy battery, it's all you need for you guys to be on the go and power your device all day long without a problem. So let me show you what I have. So let's start with the battery. This brand is called Fochu. So the reason why I chose this device is because it has continuous power mode. And by that, I mean that sometimes you place a device or connect a device, it finishes charging and then it just stops. It turns off by itself. And then regardless of what you're doing, the other device keeps on discharging. It's not continuously feeding the power that it needs to. This device on the other hand does it differently. It has quick, smart charging port, I guess that's what it's called. And that allows it for it to detect what's going on with your device. Three ports that you can use, dual USB-A ports plus a USB-C port. Functions as input and output both to charge and to export power out. But the best feature about this as far I would say is the fact that it comes also with a wireless charging system for your phone. So you put your phone on there and it starts charging it immediately. So now let's move to the Tether Tools device. This Tether Tools power system is pretty nice and that's because it has an incorporated battery. The incorporated battery here allows you to actually hot swap batteries in case you run out and keep on going endlessly all day long and maybe multiple days without a problem. The dummy battery is pretty awesome. It comes with the normal universal 5.5 millimeter jack here that you can connect to anything. And that gets attached to this uh, like so. It allows you to either go to uh, an external power bank like, like the one here or you can use an external brick. It also has an LED tally here for you guys to check the power levels. If it's green, it's fully charged. If it's yellow, it's midway through. And if it's red, you have less than 20%. So if it's red, it means that your power bank has run out and you need to switch out that battery. So it's got a good tally indicator here that tells you exactly what's going on. You just need to pay attention so that you know what's going on at all times. This device here will run you at $99. This device with this dummy will run you at about $135. But the biggest feature about this device is the actual battery inside. It's a 1200 milliamp battery. So I'm pretty sure it would last more than three minutes. That's just my rough estimate due to the fact that I have not really tested its limits. This thing amplifies the power depending on what, what camera you have. The Nikon system requires seven. If you were to buy the power system, the power brick from Tether Tools, it will run you somewhere around $190. If you want to use it, it's exactly the same thing with less features, perhaps has a better battery within, but this battery only costs $30 compared to the one that's $190. I have used other batteries that do not have a smart chip within, and that's a problem. And that's because when you have a battery that gets fully charged, it turns off the charging device and therefore it disconnects. When that happens, your camera will run out of batteries and that's a problem there. This device actually has that, that feature and therefore it keeps on feeding the power all day long until it runs out. If you want to choose a battery that's more than 30,000 uh, milliamp hours, please do. It will allow you to run longer. Just make sure it has that smart chip within that allows it to wake up. I'll have the links in the description, but do me a favor before you go, please like and subscribe to this channel and I'll have more things like this in the near future. So with that, I thank you guys and I'll see you soon.